Another way to use the stitch below one that's on the needle to do an increase is to do what's called a lifted increase. So if we look at this blue stitch that's below the needle, rather than knitting through the center of that blue stitch, we can lift the leg, the right leg of that stitch, or you can lift the head of the stitch if it's easier. It results in the same thing as you're, you're lifting the same part of the stitch. And you can lift it to the left needle tip and then you knit it. Now the difference between knitting below through the center and lifting this up is that this new stitch ends up, if you take it back out, see this running thread right here, this orange running thread that's the connector between the, st the stitch here and the stitch here. If you knit below or th right through then the new stitch kind of will cross over. So if I, I'll do this and I'll pull this through and it kind of crosses over the top of that running thread. If I lift this blue strand instead and I knit through it, I'm above that orange strand. And it probably isn't going to make a difference on this side of the work, but it may make a difference on the back side. Now that created a new stitch to the right, so if you want to create a new stitch to the left, again we want to create the stitch using this blue one, so we knit the orange stitch on the needle, and now the orange stitch is below the right needle, and the blue stitch is down here. So we lift the left leg of that blue stitch up and we knit into it like this. And again, the difference between what this increase looks like and knitting through the center is probably not easily seen on the knit side of the work, but you may notice a difference in the purl side, and uh, if that makes a difference in your pattern, then that will help you decide which increase to use.